kusema mimi ni mama fulani mzee wangu ni fulani niko na watoto wawili ama watatu useme majina yao ndio wakati tunapangia mambo ya afya tunajua hapa Moiben tuko na wananchi kiasi fulani tuko na um, hospitali kiasi fulani tunahitaji kupanga dawa kiasi fulani ndio tusiwe tunapanga mambo ya afya kiholela we must use the benefit of having data and that is the reason why we are asking every citizen to register so that we can be able to plan our health as a nation we can be able to know what is the disease load in what area and we can be able to plan ahead of time how to deliver the relevant medicines the relevant um, human capital na vile umesikia governors wakisema hapa wanamalizia mkutano nafikiri kesho na officers wangu wa wizara ya afya ili tukubaliane vile 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 tutahakikisha ya kwamba kuna equipment katika kila hospitali katika taifa letu la Kenya because this time round we must get our health in the right place kwa hivyo mimi nataka niwaulize sisi wote tushirikiane eh, kamati ya senate ya mambo ya afya Sio ndio chairman. Huyu ndio chairman wa kamati ya senate ya mambo ya health. Huyu governor wenu, huyu senator wenu, huyu mandago. Yeye ndio chairman. Na kutuko na chairman wa health wa National Assembly. Dr. Bukose. Na tumekubaliana na kamati zote mbili ya kwamba tutashirikiana. Wao wakiwa the people's representatives to make sure that we uh, shepherd and guide this program so that it benefits every citizen haitakuwa vizuri ya kwamba ati katika Kenya kuna watu kwa sababu hawana uwezo hawawezi kutibiwa hospitalini that is not right katiba ya Kenya inatulazimu kama serikali article 43 kusema ya kwamba tupange mambo ya afya ya kila mkenya kwa hivyo hiyo ndio mpango yetu na mimi nimefurahi sana ya kwamba kufikia sasa tumefikisha wananchi karibu milioni kumi na tatu tayari wamejisajili na ukijisajili kama we ni mzee usijisajili peke yako unajisajili na bibi yako na watoto wako ndio hiyo iwe complete ndio tuhakikishe ya kwamba every family is Uh, covered under our plan mwisho kabisa nataka niwashukuru sana kwa yale mambo viongozi hawa wamesema mambo ya stima eh, mheshimiwa amesema hapa bado stima iko chini eh, nataka niwaambie kwamba tuko na program ambayo inaendelea saa hii ya milioni 800 hapa wazingishu lakini nimesikia ya kwamba mnataka affirmative action eh, mnataka hiyo pesa iongezwe So nitalete maneno kule bunge muharakishe alafu tuongeze hiyo pesa ndio hawa wananchi waweze kupata stima wakati nilikuwa nasalimiana pale nje nilikutana na rafiki yangu kutoka kule Sukute mwingine anaitwa Rogers hapo huyu akaniambia hata kwake hajapata stima wewe sasa wewe DK wewe mimi nilikuwajia kazi ya mjumbe ya soi sasa unawacha huyo Rogers akuja asumbue mimi kwa nini <laughs> Sasa wewe <laughs> tafuta stima peleka kwa Rogers huyo na mwingine alikuwa anaita si na huyo si TNA huyo unajua hawa watu walikuwa na support zamani sasa wewe stima ipike huko eh, na asipofikisha huyu mjumbe mmkuje mmstaki kwangu <laughs> eh? so na wengine wengi vile eh, mheshimiwa eh, professor Parto amesema na kazi zile zingine tutaendelea namna hiyo <laughs> Again gagas. <laughs> Naona kuna mama rafiki yangu pia hapo nyuma huko anasema, "Na mbona umenisahau?" <laughs> so, mtanisaidia kupanga hawa watu. Unajua hawa watu wa nyumbani hawa bado wananiona tu mimi ni mjumbe ule wa zamani walikuwa na, walikuwa wananisumbua. Anyway, 
So um, maneno hiyo ya stima na vile vile mambo ya barabara nimesikia ya kwamba eh, kuna barabara na kuna 